acne and blackheads are common skin conditions that affect many people worldwide. They are most prevalent during adolescence but can occur at any age. Both conditions are often caused by changes in hormone levels, which can lead to increased oil production and clog pores. Acne is a skin condition that occurs when hair follicles become plugged with oil and dead skin cells. It often causes whiteheads, blackheads, or pimples, and usually appears on the face, forehead, chest, upper back, and shoulders. Acne is most common among teenagers. Though it affects people of all ages, excess oil production, the sebaceous glands produce a bomb, an oily substance that lubricates your hair and skin. Excessive sebum can lead to acne, hair follicles clogged by oil and dead skin cells when the body produces too much sebum. It can mix with dead skin cells to form a plug in the follicle. Leading to acne, bacteria, excess sebum allows bacteria to grow in the hair follicles, leading to inflammation and acne. Hormonal changes, hormonal fluctuations during puberty, pregnancy, and the menstrual cycle can trigger acne outbreaks. What are blackheads? Blackheads are a mild type of acne that appear on the skin as small, dark spots. They're a specific kind of dark acne lesion so called because they contain oxidized melanin, the pigment made by skin cells called melanocytes. Blackheads form when a clog or plug develops in the opening of hair follicles in your skin. Each follicle contains one hair and a sebaceous gland that produces oil. This oil, called sebum, helps keep your skin soft. Dead skin cells and oils collect in the opening to the skin follicle, producing a bump called a comato treatment and prevention. While acne and blackheads can be frustrating, there are several treatments available, over-the-counter treatments. Many acne and blackhead treatments are available at drugstores. These products often contain salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide, which can help clear the skin. Prescription medications. If over-the-counter treatments aren't effective, a dermatologist may prescribe stronger medications. These can include topical retinoids, antibiotics, or in some cases, isotretinoin, lifestyle changes, maintaining a healthy diet, staying hydrated, getting regular exercise, and keeping your skin clean can also help prevent acne and blackheads. Conclusion and blackheads are common. But understanding their causes and treatments can help manage and even prevent them. If you're struggling with persistent acne or blackheads, it's a good idea to consult with a dermatologist for personalized advice and treatment options. Remember, everyone's skin is unique, and what works for one person may not work for another. It's all about finding what works best for you. The science behind acne acne is not just a surface level problem. It's a complex condition that begins deep within the skin. Our skin is covered in tiny pores, each containing a sebaceous gland that produces an oily substance called sebum under normal circumstances. Sebum travels up the hair follicle and out onto the skin's surface keeping our skin moisturized and healthy. However, problems rise when the sebaceous glands produce too much sebum. This excess sebum can mix with dead skin cells and form a plug in the follicle, creating an environment where bacteria can thrive. The bacteria Propionobacterium acnes, which is normally harmless, can cause inflammation and acne when trapped in a clogged pore. The science behind blackheads blacks, also known as open comedones, are a type of acne characterized by a dark appearance.